What's up y'all? Anarino here. I want to answer a comment that I got um, from yesterday's video which was titled Keaton Jones. If you if you didn't see the the heart-wrenching Keaton Jones video, look that shit up. That poor kid got bullied and uh, and he was crying on his mom taped him crying. It's all sad, but uh, if you haven't seen that video, you should look it up. Keaton Jones is the kid's name, but um, when you're a YouTuber, you get nasty comments. It's gonna happen. So uh, I trigger a lot of people. I don't mean to, but uh, I'm an opinionated guy, you know? So a lot of times you'll get these just mean comments that are just stupid, you know? You took the dick out of your mouth long enough to make that YouTube video, faggot? Like that's not, that's not a constructive comment. Like, I, why, why would you say something like that in my, in my uh, comment section? That's just not, like, what is that doing? So, uh, a lot of times I'll ignore them, a lot of times I'll fuck with them. Um, but, you know, trolls, they're internet trolls. And when you look to see who they are, they're always like the, just these shadowy profiles. Like a cartoon character or something like that. And, and so you don't know really who they are. And you look at their page, there's no videos, there's no content, there's no about section, there's just, it's just like an empty, it's just like a shadowy, empty profile. So it's just a troll, I guess you call that. So I got this comment about my um, Keaton Jones video, and I do want to say this. Uh, Keaton Jones, I want to talk about him, uh, but first let's address this Market a Zero guy that sent me a comment. Market a zero. Uh, so you went from a tough guy who takes snowballs with rocks to the face one week to a blithering crybaby the next? Yeah, yeah, I did. It's my YouTube page. I could do whatever the fuck I want. So right out of the gate, go fuck yourself. Bullying sucks, but it would help him to be a more well-rounded adult in the end. No, bullying won't help him be a more well-rounded adult at the end. That kid is not a better man because he, he got bullied to the point of crying. So, I gotta call bullshit. We have enough coddled bottoms running around these days. Uh, his horrible mother is part of the problem. His mom is fucked up. That's a good point on his end. She started a GoFundMe page. And, uh, you know, not for him, for her. There's, she's like uh, acting like, well, I'm a single mom, I need the money. So she's definitely a shady character. I just wonder if there's a way to ensure that that GoFundMe money, which is up to like $50,000 right now, goes to the kid and not to the mom. Because I do, I could see her pulling some shit like that. I, I, I'm kind of watching the way she's been operating online and she's definitely sketchy. So, uh, this horrible mom is part of the problem. What kind of retard records their kid crying about being picked on and then posts it on the fucking internet? Uh, well, I don't think the kid looked bad in the, um, video. The kid was very, in a very vulnerable spot. She wanted to show people how upset he was, and, uh, I think it was very effective. And now a lot of, uh, good things have come out of it. People have offered to help him and, and things like this, and sent him, and put 50,000 bucks into an account, hopefully for him. Uh, he's hanging out with football players and, uh, you know, all kinds of, uh, UFC Fighters, guys inviting them to the Avengers premiere. The kid's, you know, the kid's doing it. He's, he's, the kid got a lot of cool shit out of it. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's maybe not the best parental move. Um, because now it is out there forever, isn't it? So that's a fair point. That's a fair point. That's damn near child abuse in my book. I could see an argument for that, I guess. He was literally crying over spilled milk. Well, no, you don't know that it was spilled milk. You don't, I mean, it sounds to me like you may have never been bullied, but um, to just address the whole comment, uh, no, I'm not a pussy for crying. I, I'm not, uh, I don't feel like men that cry are pussies. I think you're way off base on that. Um, Daniel Cormier, when he lost to John Jones, um, he cried. So are you saying you're, you're more of a badass than Daniel Cormier? Because Market Zero, uh, dude, Daniel Cormier, I don't know who you are, but I'll pr pretty much bet my car 
that Daniel Cormier would stick his foot so far in your asshole that uh, you wouldn't have time to make shitty YouTube comments anymore. And I don't know if you're a fan, maybe I'm being a little mean to you or harsh, but it seems like you're using some harsh words here too, you know. You're, you're a little aggressive in this. So you went from a tough guy who takes snowballs with rocks to the face one week to a blithering crybaby the next? Yeah, man. I cry over shit. Sorry. I get, you know, if that makes me a pussy, I guess I'm a pussy. There's certain movies. I'm trying to think of one. I watched some movie. I cried my eyes out. Like, I don't like to see cruelty to animals and kids and shit. I guess that makes me a pussy. I guess you're just a real tough guy. Um, so, I don't know, man. And when I was talking about the snowballs, I wasn't saying I was the toughest guy in the world. But I was saying, in, in my generation, we didn't have plush, kid-friendly snowball toys instead of snowballs for a snowball fight. I mean, not the, give me a break. This, if, I'm be, if you're a fan and I'm being kind of mean, I'm sorry. But your, your comment struck me as fucked up a little bit. And, uh, and kind of cold. Like, this kid was crying. It wasn't spilled milk. You never been bullied? Shit sucks. It, it hurts you. It's embarrassing. So, I don't know, man. But you did have some good points. I will say that. Uh, maybe the mom was out of line recording him in the first place. Uh, but I do want to retract my offer for jujitsu lessons to the kid. Uh, because now that they got 50000 bucks saved up, she's definitely covered on the jiu-jitsu classes. She could get him private lessons, you know, every week. So, uh, I retract my offer. Um, actually, could I bum some money off you? Uh, then we had some good comments from uh, my friend Night Garden. She's wonderful. Uh, she said uh, she won't watch the video because it's the sort of thing that drives her into deep sadness. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like to see that kind of thing. It, I didn't want to watch it, but I kept seeing it through my Instagram. And, uh, and like, damn, I was like, finally, I was like, well, I guess I gotta watch it. Everybody's posting this shit. And I was like, oh, where are those bullies? Let's get those motherfuckers. Uh, and then Hardcore Cool. That's another buddy of mine uh, out of Wisconsin. Saying, speaking of bullies, one of those girls that tortured that white retard on Facebook got off with community service. I don't think the retard is the is the right uh, phrasing you want to use. Hardcore cool. That's not. He was he. Speaking of retards, Jake. <laughs> speaking of retards, Jake. Gotta retire the dab. <laughs> it was dead for a reason. Oh yeah, I'll retire it. You're right, dude. That's a good point. It's just so fun to do. I don't know why. I just love doing it. Tell me you don't love doing that shit. Try it. If you're watching this video, do it right now. Do it. That shit is fun. I enjoy that kind of thing. I don't know. I'm stupid. I like this one too. That's a pretty good one. You ever use that one? I use that one. So help me, if you come up with an original one, Hardcore Cool, help me out, man. I need, I need like some catchy, cool thing. Hey, Jake Anarino here. You know, something. I don't know, man. Something. Keep it interesting. We'll, we'll switch it up every now and then. Give me some suggestions, dude. Uh, but yeah, the, the kid, um, 50, 50 Gs, they're covered. They're covered. No, no need to make that mom a millionaire, you know? Uh, and then there's some stories out of Drudge I thought were kind of interesting today. How to shut down internet. Snip undersea fiber optic cables. Now, why would somebody post that as a news story? Why would you give people ideas? What, what, who, what? By McClatchy, DC Bureau. Well, listen here, McClatchy, what the fuck is your problem? Stop telling people this kind of shit. Here's how to shut down the internet. Snip undersea fiber optic cables. Why would you say that? Why would you have that as a news story? Like, why, why would you give people ideas like that? I'm gonna do a video. How to beat the shit out of McClatchy, how's that? What the fuck, dude? Fuck you, McClatchy. That's a terrible article. AI creating fake porn. This AI stuff is some weird shit, man. The AI creating fake porn deep fakes algorithm puts Gal Gadot's face onto the body of an adult movie star. 
Okay. I have no idea what they're even talking about, what any of this means. Another human foot washes ashore in Canada. That makes 13. What's going on in Canada? Just a foot just floats along. Hey, look, hey, look what I found. I found me a foot. What is, what? I have no idea what, what's happening. Maybe those feet are uh, from people that were swimming around trying to cut the fucking weight cable wires for McClatchy. Big dummy. State prison offers pet boarding and grooming. Hmm. Would you trust your animal with a prisoner? I don't know, man. I don't know. Although I am for that pet program for the um, inmates, I think that's a good that's a good healthy thing for them. Just not my not my pet. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got to say today. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, we'll be back tomorrow.